Hello, my name is Ocarina of Time 42. Welcome back to another video. So today, Mo Yang has just released a new snapshot, snapshot 20w16a. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a new world to show you guys what's been added. So guys, in today's snapshot, there were no new blocks added, none, zip zilch. However, there were two new, very important structures added. The first, the Piglin Bastion. They've finally been added. And second, ruined nether portals. And apparently, these ruined nether portals can be found in any biome. So let's go ahead and test that out. Slash locate. Oh, yeah, Bastion Remnant is showing up, but what about... Let's see. Ruined portal. Ooh, 108 blocks away. Let's see. All the way over here. And look, a ruined portal. This is an incredibly beautiful structure here. And look, an obsidian- THREE GOLDEN APPLES! I have a feeling this might be a little bit broken here. Flint and steel. Bane of Arthropods, golden axe. So, let's go ahead and complete the nether portal here. Oop, there we go. And actually, that makes me wonder. Since crying obsidian showed up, does it- work in the nether portal? Let's test it out. Alright, let's see. Does it work? No, it doesn't. Alright, then why did it show up? Huh. Let's see. Let's go on in. So apparently this is the only biome in which the piglin bastions don't spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and do slash locate Bastion Remnant, just so we can get to it faster. Again, fairly close. Oh. Oh, must be the other way then. Oh, yep, I have a feeling this is it, if we can get out of this wall. Here we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a bastion remnant full of blackstone bricks and tons mm -hmm. of diglins as we can see here. Let's see if we go down here. Whoa. Oh, gilded blackstone finally appears. It makes sense it would be here with the piglins. Now let's see. So I'm assuming this is what bastions look like now. Which is honestly fairly large. Oh, look! A small thing of gold. Looks like it's a piglin or hoglin statue with the little hoglin thing there. Let's see. It looks like it's pretty much a new type of nether fortress almost. Or at least that's the vibe I'm getting from it. Let's see what happens if we go further down. And I saw a place to go down. Here we go. Go down. Ooh, nice lanterns. Although, honestly, I personally think it would be nicer if they had soul fire lanterns. That would make more sense to me. So let's see. Yeah, I really like this. I, I want to find a different one since this one's... Hard to explore, really, when a lot of it's stuck up there. So I'm gonna fly really far away and get back to you guys once I see a better example of one. Alright, so we have found another bastion, and this time in the Soul Sand Valley, or Soul Soil Valley, and yet again, they still have normal lanterns. I personally would have expected uh, Soul Fire lanterns. But it, this looks very cool. I can't wait to see what sort of loot we can find in it. Because I know loot's been added. Oh, I think we just found it here. A whole bunch of gold. This is really nice. I also just saw a chest back here. So let's see, where is it? Yeah, here it is. Whoa, lots of gilded blackstone, obsidian, crying obsidian, and some arrows. That looks like it will be incredibly useful. There's also... Ooh, magma cube spawners. People could definitely, like, tear...
tear this down and use it to make a magma cube farm. Let's see. Anything else really notable here? They have some netherrack just burning. Alright. Overall, this looks like an amazing new structure. But I also saw that they added in a new soundtrack that only plays here. called Pig Steps. I can't tell if we've heard it or not, but that's just because there's way too many ghasts. So let's fly up to the top and see what else I have. Oh, they also added in the chain block. That's the one block I forgot they added. Whoops. But yeah, now you can hang your lanterns from a chain, which is perfect for building. But as you can see, the structure is just blackstone, variants, and basalt and polished basalt, which I honestly really like. But it looks like it will be incredibly tough to navigate these. So, I think that's all. Let me just double check. And I'll be back in a little. Yep, that is all of the new blocks added. And all the new structures added as well. But it looks like people might be able to exploit these, especially the ruined nether portals. I am going to do a, a few tests to see just how often they actually give you golden apples and other overpowered loot. So I'll get back to you in a moment. So guys, I have just visited five different ruined portals, including one under the ocean. And the loot that I got from it is four golden apples, six fire charges, one, two, three, four, five pieces of golden armor, two golden tools, three obsidian, a flint and steel, a clock, pressure plates, and gold nuggets. So overall, I honestly think the loot is a little too overpowered because every time I've looked for a ruined portal, they've always been about 100 or 200 blocks away from my current position. So, I personally think they might want to be, you know, a little bit less common. Let's just do one more test. I think that's the one I just visited. No, it's not. This is a completely different one also beneath the ocean. And also in each one, it seems you can find some gold blocks scattered around. Let's see, yeah, let's see the chest here. Ooh, this one especially is very overpowered. I definitely think the loot table should be a little bit fixed, but overall, this has been an incredible snapshot, especially with the new chain blocks, as those add so much more life to builds. Anyway, that's all for today. So, remember, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye. So guys, I was just exploring another pig piglin bastion for fun, and I run across a double chest. I open it. Netherite scraps, lots of bones, and a new music disc, Pig Step, which I was talking about earlier. But 10 magma cream, 4 bone blocks, 4 obsidian, Six iron, lot, six string, iron nuggets, gold nuggets, gold, arrows, netherite scraps, and a music disc. This is incredible. Sorry for that little add-on, but, who boy, that's a lot.